everybody, so Cal Thero here. Uh, in today's tutorial, I got a request to do this, so I figured I would do it as my uh, autosave is going on here. But somebody had asked if I would make a tutorial on how to make a rotating spotlight. Um, based on the stuff that I want to do, I'm not going to um, be able to show it to you in game, but I will go over. The details of it here and then eventually in probably one of the other videos like once i put the light bar and stuff on this car i'll uh show you in game that, that it's uh moving so i know there's other channels that have a tutorial on how to do this already so i wasn't sure why the person asked me to do it but i mean they asked and i guess for the sake of finding everything at one channel i just decided to do it Anyways, to fulfill the request. So, as you can see, I have my spotlight on here already on the car. I believe this is from... I think I took this car from my CHP pack. I don't recall for sure. Based on the trim paneling, I would say that's the case. So, for the time being, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the car for, the, for this, just so you guys can see how it works. So, taking a look at the spotlight here... You have your uh, entire spotlight parts right here. I have it broken down already in the hierarchy. And I'll show you guys how I keep it broken down. So I have it as extra too. So, of course, you can spawn or despawn it. Um, this is Scoop. I'm going to go over what this does specifically because this is what you need for a movable spotlight. You have extra light 3, which is the light itself. So I'm going to go ahead and package that up. So... With this, I already have the ID set to ID 14, which is the high beams on your car. So it's one of them. I believe it's the driver's side, but don't hold me to that. Could be the passenger side one too. So I've already got that set up. So when you turn on the high beams on the car, this spotlight will come on. So I'm going to go ahead and compound that in the hierarchy so it's ready to go. And just for the sake of this video, I'm going to this out here for now so you guys uh, know what's going on with it and then finally i have siren glass 2 which is the glass that goes over the uh spotlight to cover it which is right there in fact let me take a look here and see i don't know yeah i was gonna say i don't think i have the spotlight glass moved up so it's either this one or the other one you want to make sure it's above your glass so that way it shows when you uh, turn it on in game, the yeah, light emissive so the glass doesn't block it. And since that's done, I'm going to go ahead and convert this to compound to. Whoops. So it's ready to go. And I'm going to move that out as well. Uh, there is a collision for it. I have that because it's set up as an extra. You need that for your glass. So that's the reason why that's there. Um, this is the scoop, which is. Right here is the uh, light head. This is the part that you're going to want to spin. So we'll go over that in just a second. We're just going to go over the last thing here, which is this. This is extra two, which this is actually extra two. This is um, the, I guess you could say the main or the top thing in the hierarchy. And I usually put this just because it's something that doesn't do anything in game other than you could turn it on and turn it off. And then I put everything that's going to be used with it within this. So. I'm going to go ahead and compound this as well. There we go. So as you can see, that's extra two. That's extra light three, which is our spotlight. And we have siren glass two, which is the uh, glass that goes over the light to make sure it uh, has the proper effect to it there. So that's the easy part of this. The hard part... I mean, if you can even call it hard, is making the spotlight a uh, rotatable part. What I did is I took this dummy and I made it and finally got it to work one day and I just kept it going. So I have this dummy and each time I want to make a rotating spotlight, I just merge it from my old project file so I don't have to do this each time. So I'm going to turn on the spotlight head here. This is... The top of the spotlight, if you turn on the spotlight itself, you can see it there. So this is the, this is the item I'm going to have rotating on the spotlight. So 
This is going to be compounded into this scoop location. This scoop dummy works like the scoop on the, um, no, I can't think of the name of it in game, but it's the bulldozer basically. That's how you get the, uh, the workable spotlight. It acts like it's the bull, the bulldozer's, uh, front end that you lift up and down. So. To get that, you need this scoop dummy. And when you're doing this, you also need this collision as well. It's a scoop collision. As far as I know, at least from my knowledge anyways, you don't need any properties. This just needs to be a thing and it needs to be on it somewhere. That might not even need to be as well. I basically, when I do the collision, I just copy all the collisions. So I copy an extra two, siren glass two, and scoop and I just name them their perspective things and I just throw them in there. So as far as positioning goes I don't know if that needs to be a thing but that's where I put mine and it seems to do just fine with that. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments below that are familiar with this if that really needs to be a thing or not but that's just the way I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that so I don't accidentally work with it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the extra so well, actually, let me turn it on real quick. So here is the light head here. What you want to do is you want your scoop dummy to be, I'm going to show you from the left view here, kind of like in the center where it's going to be at its rotating point. And then from the up view, you can see it's in the center as well. So this it's going to rotate around this center box right here. So what you do is you make a dummy. I'm going to highlight it so you can see it here in the properties. It has no ID, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, the shape is a cylinder. Uh, color doesn't matter, although that's what I have. I don't know why. I just did it, I guess. Uh, it has to turn on the X axis in order to do this. Uh, centered. Scaling. I don't know. I don't recall if that's something that you really need to worry about or not, but it might be a thing. So either way, it's right here, just in case you guys want to be on the uh, safe side there and copy the exact one that I know works. Then finally, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on user defined options. And this is what you need to put in here in order to get the scoop working properly. Obviously, I've already done it, so I'm not going to retype it in, but this is what it is here. So this is the flag. This is rotating on the Z axis, the Y axis, the X axis. These slide axes here, you probably don't need. I think I just did that because I wasn't sure when I was learning how to do this. So they are in there anyways. So you might not even need that. But again, if you want to be on the safe side and I know this one works, you can add it to yours too. But the thing is, is this thing is going to rotate on the Y axis. That's how you get it to turn left and right. So you're going to aim like towards the driver's side here and the passenger side over here. So you need it to do a negative 90 turn in one direction. And then from its point right here you needed to do a 90 uh, turn direction as well that'll give you a full 180 degree rotation of the light bar um use or sorry not light bar but of the spotlight once you have that done i'm going to go ahead and unhighlight this here you're ready to compound it so you're just going to take this you're going to convert to compound and you're going to put this uh spotlight head in there and now it's all set to uh, work as the scoop or be rotatable. So when you do this, it might look funny if you don't do the next part. So you, I mean, if you're having a problem, you might want to come back to this part in the video just to make sure. But if you're noticing the light and or the glass is not turning when you're turning it, that's because it's not in the hierarchy correctly. So after you do this scoop, Within this scoop, you need to make sure the light's in there, so that way it rotates. So that light, now that it's within the scoop in the hierarchy, it's going to rotate with the light. And then finally, you want your glass in there too, so that way the glass rotates with it as well, so it doesn't go off or just sit stationary there. And then when you do the glass, you probably want to, I mean, I put it under the collision just to be on the safe side, but anything below the light itself to make sure that it shows up properly. And then you have, like I said, you got your scoop collision, you got a siren glass collision there, and then also I have the extra two collision. They're all mimic the same as uh, 
the same of each other, just so that way there's one there, so it creates the uh, correct rotation. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's really all it takes to do a rotating spotlight. So, like I said on my YouTube uh, community tab, I'm going to be doing some more tutorials. So, obviously, I did this one right now. I'm also going to record a few other ones right now, too, because this is not taking too much time as it is. And I guess I just never got to it, and finally I did. So, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Um, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below, um, and I'll try to answer them. If you are not getting an answer from me, or if you're still not sure, I'll have a link to my Discord in the description. I do it in all my videos. And there's a cert there's a specific section in my Discord for help, and you're more than welcome to ask in there. And sometimes I chime in, and then other times other members of the communities will uh, chime in as well. So whatever one you feel comfortable with, feel free using it. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching this tutorial video. I hope it helped you out. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.